Okay. <clears throat> All right, so welcome everyone. My name is Steve Vetteral. I am the chief market analyst for a company called Avoria Prime. I'm also a financial advisor, run a book of business here in SoCal, live in Temecula, the smaller wine country portion of Northern San Diego. I'd like to welcome everybody to the presentation today. It's gonna to be a little bit different than what probably you guys have seen before in a presentation. Um, everything that I'm going to talk to you about today is exactly the same reasons as to why I joined this organization um, from the standpoint of a analyst. Um, so <clears throat> without further ado, we don't really wanna make this about the Steve show, but I think it's important as I always mention to students and clients, you know, who is this guy, what does he do? <clears throat> Essentially, before we get into that, let me just go through a quick uh, disclosure to trading we're using Forex analysis tools and software to assist you in trading carries a high level of risk. Only trade with capital you can afford to lose. So the information contained in this presentation is for informational purposes only. One should evaluate the risk and tolerance and personal financial situation before trading. If in doubt, please consult your own personal licensed financial advisor. Avoria Prime is not providing investment advice. It's all trade opportunity alerts are delivered to all participants uniformly without regard to an individual's trade objectives, financial condition, or suitability. So unless a user has made customized alert options privately to their own account or to further analyze their own manual trade opportunities, uh, these options are at the full discretion of the user. So do understand, please, Avoria does not exercise trading authority over your trades or brokerage accounts since we're not a broker. So you and you alone exercise discretionary trading authority over every trade. And most importantly, as I captain a large subscriber base each week in our, what we like to call the, I, I like to uh, affectionately refer to myself as your risk manager. <laughs> um, please do not trade with capital that you cannot afford to lose. Okay. So that it, it is a, a big deal as far as we're concerned here at Avoria. Uh, we spend a lot of time on disclaimers and compliance. Uh, the organization has um, a deep history in rooted in compliance. So who am I? Who, who's this knucklehead Steve on the mic? So essentially I'm a series 65 registered fiduciary head trader. I run a firm that we own here called Benchmark Wealth Advisors. Graduated from XU with a degree in finance. I got the 65 and 66 licenses. Worked right out of college. Uh, my first uh, job was with Fidelity Investments. I was a trader and an analyst. Um, I was pulled away from Fidelity by Ken Fisher and the team, as many of you may know Ken. Uh, he is retired now, but he was a famed investor, Forbes columnist. Ken taught me a lot of what I know today about being a portfolio manager. So essentially, after that period of time, I founded Amenti Capital. It's really just simply a long, short, um, <clears throat> it's a U.S.-based tactical hedge fund, mostly just trading equities, options, and the, the Forex markets. Um, in 2017, probably because all the time I spent educating everybody out there, um, I was awarded the Investopedia's 2000, or I should say 2017, most 100 influential awards. So to this day, that is a very nice award. So let me share a different screen here. Stop sharing, shoot over to minimize all right here we go <clears throat> so let's talk a little bit about forex so forex essentially is just the foreign exchange markets it's actually the largest market in the world in terms of currencies that are exchanged for trading purposes um, the problem with the last let's just say decade and a half moving through these different organizations I work for um, and then ultimately running money for clients myself is that I always had problems with the vast majority of the trading platforms I encountered in Forex as well as uh, the systems and software that I was presented. I never had essentially a really good opportunity to find a decent traded program, whether it be manual or in some form of automation. Uh, I never had the opportunity to have any kind of artificial intelligence side to software as we do here at Avoria. And I'll talk a little more about that and why I sort of came on board and why I have just the 
utmost of respect for the tremendous amount of work that this organization has done um, and the over 5,000 subscriber base that we have. So the, the problem is right now that I want to help identify is that the days of trading successfully on a single strategy or any kind of technical indicator that's singular are kind of over. So you really need multiple areas of confluence um, to be able to do that. I'm gonna illustrate that on my charts uh, next, I'm actually going to jump into the chart system that I use to kind of show you guys that a lot of the tools that I use to analyze the markets, both from a technical factor um, as well as quantitative, are just, it's difficult to teach. Even though I have brought uh, with my small country company, FXES Trader, you know, hundreds of students to a consistent profitability in the futures markets, um, it has been a tremendous amount of work to get everybody ramped up to the point of consistent profitability. And in some cases, it's required thousands of hours of work, which is you know, exceptionally well documented on my YouTube channel of the bazillions of videos that I've shot for different organizations, both software and Ninja Trader, you know, brokerage firms and so forth, other kinds of analysis software like Linsoft. Uh, that's where I'm mostly most known for my auction market theory. And which is essentially market profile. So all of these tools just add to the sort of mass amount that a manual or a discretionary trader really needs to understand and be the ability to use, you know, in order to make trading decisions. So <clears throat> the large, I don't know, learning curve, if you will, that I have experienced, and most people don't want to get on that path. And so understanding that the path to profitability is a significantly, um, I don't know, <clears throat> treacherous path. You know, we decided to title this program Trader's Death Trap, Lack of Diversification, because many traders will just latch on to uh, one or two things. And in some cases, they can work. And I'm, I'm not sort of downplaying all of that. But there's a reason why some of the most successful hedge funds in the world uh, from a quantitative or trading standpoint, like a high frequency traded fund, uh, have been successful. It's because they've built the software to trade for them, um, whether in some sort of high frequency or, you know, just shooting off indicators the traders can execute upon on the desk um, and so forth. So I have, over the last 10 years, I've been sort of looking for that holy grail. And in many cases, that holy grail is not available, certainly not talked about. Um, if you want to build something like that yourself, you're looking at probably well over um, a couple of million dollars to build an automated, some sort of artificial intelligence based algo. Okay. So the search has been long for me. The problems have been many in this area. I've tried a bazillion things out in this arena and it, it's left me frustrated to say the least. So as you see bullet point there, most people do not have access to the right tools. Um, strategies and coaching and so forth. So what I want to show you guys real, real quickly, I'm going to just move out of this screen is these are some of the products that um, we offer here at Avoria Prime. They are, there's different versions, Gearbox, Variable are out right now. They have done exceptionally well. Depending upon where you are located, the software will send off an alert for you to execute upon, or it will actually do the trading for you. So let me jump out of this screen. And I'm gonna minimize this. I'm gonna jump over to, all right, so let's make sure we're sharing the right screen. Can you guys see the Investopedia page? Is that showing up okay? Check in. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> so just so you guys know, the Investopedia page here, this is myself here, it's part of the top 100 advisors. So it's actually, a great award, very thankful for it. Here is trading view. So hopefully you guys can see this. If you don't just pop something in the chat window, um, I keep monitoring here just in case I'm getting mixed up sharing screens. I am an expert in Zoom, but not in GoToMeeting. Um, 
Okay, so here is the Euro US dollar on a daily chart inside of tradingview.com. Um, you guys can see this is the exact same screen I show to all of our subscribers each week um, as we're trying to help navigate through the ridiculously crazy waters of Forex. Um, the, the very simple volume, uh, long-term, <clears throat> including the squeeze zones, these are just an example of probably about six or seven tools that I use to analyze what's going on, whether it be on a daily or some higher time frame, <clears throat> going down to a lower time frame. You know, same thing can be utilized um, along for just analyzing the SPX here. <clears throat> I'll overlay at some point the market profile and, and volume and time-based profiles on top of this. So whether we're analyzing for <clears throat> any of our subscribers, the US dollar, which has been sinking like a dog after a really solid period of consolidation. This has been wreaking some havoc, obviously, in Forex land, uh, because very simply, the, <clears throat> the dollar's been going down. So consequently, everything that's attached to the dollar of the majors out there have been uh, going up. So we take a lot of looks at the Euro US dollar, the DXY. The point I'm trying to illustrate is that going through all of this, um, it's difficult. It takes a fair amount of time. Um, I don't have as much time running a practice of clients these days uh, that I would like to spend in terms of sitting in front of the computer trading all these accounts. So <clears throat> with the introduction of myself to Avoria Prime by a very good friend uh, that is a fellow Forex trader here locally, <clears throat> this is a number of years ago, I was really impressed with the organization's ability to put together a uh, group of developers that have built software. So this is the website of oriaprime.com. Talk just briefly about the team and then I'll jump back into um, the slide presentation. But I think it's important to understand that this team is run by some serious pros that have lots of expertise in their executive, especially Bill Wynn. He has helped along with his whole team of developers build a huge back end for this company's products and allowing us, as I'll show you next, in the dashboard of your back office um, to have a huge amount of education related to the software, onboarding videos, all kinds of stuff. We have a lot of coaches that coach different pieces of software in addition to the developers of the software's weekly calls themselves. So I run calls on Tuesdays and Saturdays for the group, mostly just macroeconomic type events. Um, as far as just the markets, what's going on, what to expect going forward for the week. Uh, whereas our other coaches will do a deeper dive into the specific software that they uh, oversee as far as our large subscriber base or uh, the developers themselves will talk about currencies, pairs, things that are changing <clears throat> updates to the software and so forth. So this software, and this is just a quick peek, by the way, at the back office, if you guys can see this. So I'm actually logged into my back office to show you guys how deep the company has built out uh, what's called Avoria Academy, uh, which essentially is a roadmap starting all the way from the onboarding and product setup videos, which are a chronological order of taking one step. So it's a completely automated onboarding system as far as education, all the way down to getting into a deeper dive with the Daisy Duncan, who's done a fantastic job in building out um, understanding Forex. So we, we suggest all of our subscribers make it through this. You can complete this essentially at any time, uh, but it is a monster benefit um, to being a subscriber to Avoria Prime's products. So I'll talk a little more about the products. I want to go into also some of the performance of them because I think that's important. It's a big reason. Obviously, we're all on board, uh, but it, it has been difficult, again, in this sort of search for different software out there. The problems I always had was getting a third-party unbiased opinion of what the performance has been for the software. Because as many of you will <clears throat> attest, and a lot of our subscribers will, I'm, it, I'm a, certainly a show me guy, it has to be demonstrated to me, has to be third party and it has to be verified, okay? So with Avori Academy, great stuff in the back office. Just wanted to kind of touch on that real briefly. Um, this makes it just an easier transition from, you know, a, a, Essentially, many of our subscribers don't have a lot of experience with Forex, and, and that's okay. Uh, you know, we welcome because 
of the single fact that we are that confident with the three pieces of software we have out and an additional two coming uh, to the product lineup that we're going to be able to cover the gamut of full diversification across all different spectrums. Some software are martingale trading systems that allow you to trade within a particular range bound as we kind of have with the dollar and the euro uh, and the British pound as well the last few months. Uh, some software are trend following. So essentially when they break out, uh, the, fo the software will allow the <clears throat> trades to be taken in the direction of the trend. And then some software is very, very specific to just one currency. So we've, we've brought what we believe is the best. There's no other company, by the way, on the planet that has an organization set up like this. So that is why I was willing to sort of take a piece of my time each week out and be the chief market analyst for the organization uh, because of the level of uh, just professionalism this company exhibits. So the software, by the way, is plugged into the MT4 platform, which essentially is the 800 pound gorilla on the Forex uh, trading space. And that essentially is connected to your Forex account, which trades uh, in some cases for you, or there are alerts that will be sent, as you can see, maybe the upper right hand corner of the screen, there will be alerts sent to um, either your MT4 phone with the app on any type of smartphone or a desktop or a tablet. So it's pretty slick. You can trade across any of these different devices, depending on how you do it. And, and quite frankly, a lot of our subscribers, uh, which are all over the world, uh, we have subscribers on every continent. Uh, many of them just use their phone, you know, so they'll download the MT4 platform in the app that goes with it, they'll, the software gets installed through the back office here, which you, these videos help you walk through. Um, and then it just goes in and trades the account for you. And many of them start off with accounts anywhere between 500 to 1,000. Typically, I recommend going a little bit larger in size um, just from a risk standpoint. It's even though the drawdowns on some of our software really hasn't been that bad, and that's a very big deal in this discussion, uh, I still, still think it's important to, you know, just kind of go through and um, understand the, the risks associated with, you know, putting smaller balances inside the accounts. But the settings in some cases for the different pieces of software that you see here um, are fixed. Uh, some of the settings come out of the box as default they can be adjusted that is also the purpose of the developers weekly calls uh, which we suggest all subscribers attend everything is recorded including all of my weekly calls put into the back office um, in addition to very very active <laughs> almost too active uh, six and seven telegram channels um, that have huge subscriber bases to that follow along with all of the direction that we give each week. So <clears throat> we'll usually ask a typical subscriber in the course of a week to, you know, <clears throat> I usually get in my, ca my, my calls and the Zoom calls essentially done on Tuesday and Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Pacific time. I usually get them done um, right around, you know, anywhere between 30, 45 minutes. Um, those two calls help give direction. Then if you have a piece of software, you have a couple of pieces of software that you're subscribed to each of those developers, uh, Dasan for Variable and Tyler for um, Gearbox will run their own calls each week um, and give you some direction as to maybe change a currency pair, one of the majors or add an additional pair in. Many of these softwares can trade any uh, of the different types of currencies out there. But honestly, just sticking in my opinion to the broad majors, uh, one of the biggest, obviously the most liquid being the Euro US dollar. So uh, hopefully I am not running too long on that, but I think it's important to kind of cover all this stuff um, so you guys can get a feel for that. <clears throat> so what else do I wanna say about AP Academy? I think that's pretty much it. So the team, let me see if I can, Actually, you know what? Why don't we do this? So I'm going to show, I don't know how many people in the audience are familiar with my FX book, which is this tab right here. So my FX book is a third party along with FX Blue uh, website. I think there's only two I know of, if I'm not mistaken, out there in Forex land that audit um, and completely can analyze the trades that are executed in your brokerage account, your Forex account. 
So they only have what's called an investor password ability to view what takes place in the account. They cannot go into your Forex account and make trades. They can't make adjustments. You know, just as the software, it, it's not difficult to go in and, and look at the settings, obviously. But the, the thing I want everybody to understand is that, and as, as an organization, we have gone to great lengths, including a law firm engagement, just to make sure that um, this falls within the compliance of the FTC, the CFTC, and all of the foreign uh, regulatory bodies over our industry. So including FINRA, which I'm a member of here in the US. Um, so we're in the process of <clears throat> sort of rubber stamping, if you will, a lot of the compliance that's related to all of this. But we have made, I think, a monumental effort um, to put forth very solid compliance um, as far as what's talked about. So just like anything, what I'm about to show you guys, even though these returns are fantastic, they are representations of what has taken place in a whole mess of accounts. It doesn't necessarily mean that's what's gonna be in your account, right? Past performance is no indication of the future, right? I say that all the time in front of clients, but it's true. So, <clears throat> so let's take a look here. So this is myfxbook.com. You can see that up in the left-hand corner here. This is a full one-year track record of variable trading, okay? This is essentially the current version of variable. If you've never seen this before, there is bazillions of pieces of analysis that can be done in here. I don't want to drag this on all, you know, in the whole next half an hour just talking about this, but this can be gone through um, and looked at in performance. You can look at the summaries different currencies that were traded. So over the last year, this particular software, which is called Variable, Dasan is the developer, the currency the traded were four, and uh, the win rates, which you can just see in trade summaries, these win rates <clears throat> have been running anywhere between the high 50s to mid 60s, which is exceptional, um, especially, and most importantly, that if the drawdown is low, okay? This right here, quite simply, is the single biggest reason that the vast majority of stuff that I've looked at in Forex, folks, I just, I blew it off because drawdowns were tremendous. You'd have a great period of time, three months, five months, a year, um, and then the drawdown would just be tremendous because there would be no risk management um, and the software would just begin to get itself and clobber itself. Now, in all fairness to this performance, even if you extrapolate some of the huge hits it got um, and big runs it had in the pandemic in March of 2020, software has still done fantastic. And the key really, especially since as I tell all of our subscribers, what's most important to me is that as we're sort of moving forward as a group from a macroeconomic perspective in terms of what's going on in big events out there, always picture yourself as an institutional trader, right? You want to think like an institutional trader, act, be diversified like one, obviously, hence the different pairs that uh, are the different uh, software products that we offer. But most importantly, you want to be able to have the confidence that there's not going to be a big drawdown in a product. Now, that's not to say that tomorrow we have a big move in currencies. I mean, heck, we're already having a big move in the dollar down from an area that we've been talking about for months now uh, that I thought was going to be headed down to the 87, 85 area. We're seeing it right now. Uh, we're seeing a fairly protracted move. But you know, the great thing about any piece of software that we offer is that from a risk management standpoint, it's taking little sequences of trades, both long and short through whatever type of trading system it is. So Martingale essentially is putting on levels of what they call sequences of trades um, that will <clears throat> slightly build a bigger position as the standard deviation or the rubber band, as I mentioned, um, gets sort of a stretched out, if you will, over a period of time. Software will put slightly larger, but we're really in many cases with the software, especially in smaller accounts, we're only trading with a 0 0.01 lot size. So, I mean, from the perspective, I mean, that's great because you're, you're not just, you're taking really essentially micro Forex trades with the software. So 
you know, I always try to present this from a risk standpoint, but the track records um, for here, as you can see on the screen here, is that it's verified and the trading privileges are verified. So again, this analysis can't do anything in your Forex brokerage account, but view the trades that took place. And it's only granted a sort of a view, if you will, into this and be able to download the trades into its analysis in its own algo, if you will, um, because you've granted an investor only password access to it, not a master password. So I, I, I really wish, honestly, and, and maybe it does exist, I just haven't come across it. I, I wish something like this existed for futures markets, something I can plug into a futures account that I trade uh, and have it track performance. It would actually save me a whole bunch of money with auditors. <laughs> um, but in any case, this is the whole year uh, broken down by currency. We can dissect this in different ways, but you'll look to see, here's the drawdown screen. So you can look at the analysis in tons of different ways, but essentially the drawdown, you want it to be, especially if you're like an institutional manager running a fund, you want the drawdowns to really be in, at the worst, high, uh, high teens, anything under 20%, uh, essentially passes muster, if you will, in institutional land as far as trading systems. So this along with our other pieces of software, which I don't really have the time to show all of it today, but has the ability to, you know, obviously do very well. You know, there'll be months in some of these software where it'll just return, you know, one, three, six percent. Some months it's had a 30 percent return, right? So keep in mind in institutional land, if you look at some of the best performing hedge funds out there, uh, and I pay fairly close attention from a quantitative standpoint, you know, what funds have done well over time. Um, you know, some of these funds that, <clears throat> even though some of their fees are really high, and they take in many cases more than 20% of profits, um, that they've done exceptionally well with the 25 to 35% annual return. And many of the funds that have performed like that, especially in a quantitative type of fund like a Renaissance Capital, which Jim Simon's team runs, or um, the Ray Dalio's Bridgewater Associates. And you know, there's a number of different shops out there, including AQR, that run quant-based trading uh, with their own built uh, systems of algos they've designed. You know, those are fantastic returns. So I think it's important to sort of put the returns universe, if you will, in perspective um, in terms of what it's, uh, what, the, what the ability is and what should one reasonably expect from a piece of software. So um, this is another account on a smaller side. I want you guys to see this account hasn't been running for a long period of time because it's more illustrating just a short period of time. <clears throat> Do keep in mind that when you look at the growth inside the account. This is what's important from a charting perspective, just looking at the equity growth. Whereas you can always look to see what the drawdowns are. This is not a realized drawdown. It just means that the account went into from whatever level it was at a negative 6%, right? Or a negative 12 or a negative 19%. It's sort of a pullback, uh, but it's not necessarily a realized loss. Okay, so uh, this is a variable live account. We have multiple live accounts with this software running in the hundreds of thousands and a couple that are running on a couple of million. Um, so we have the ability with the software to scale up uh, depending on the size of the account. Obviously with accounts that are over 50K or 100K, some of the ones I'll be running for clients, there's you know, a lot more involved in terms of managing settings and so forth. And you know, we can help you guys understand all that. It's not that difficult, but you do need to pay attention each week in making changes to the settings inside the software. <clears throat> so if you guys feel free, you can ask questions on any of this and I will answer them. So the win rates on this one, shorter period of time, obviously, so not this, not as large of a sample size of trades. Do note that um, if you were to divide essentially the amount of trading days by the amount of trades that this thing takes, um, you can see that total number of trades over a year was about 3,084, okay? Um, I do also understand one of the benefits of being a subscriber is we will help captain you to um, 
some of the best Forex brokers in the world, because honestly, there are a lot of them out there that play games against your trades. And some of them will game against your algo that you may have installed on the MT4 platform and trading for you. So we know who those all are to stay away from. Um, and we know some of the best um, to go with. <clears throat> and the other great thing about this organization is there are tons of teams uh, out there. Our team here <clears throat> run by Ryan uh, is called Legacy Launchpad. We've got hundreds of members that we help individually through weekly calls and all kinds of stuff. Um, to go through the software. So without sort of belaboring the point, let me just jump back here. Let's see if there's anything else I want to share. Variable live account. Got win rates, covered that, drawdown. Currency pairs. Let's take a look at that in a summary. See, this one's only running two pairs. So depending upon the level of uh, capital that you're trading, depending upon what's going on, obviously, currently with the, the macro climate and currencies, you know, we may recommend, you know, a couple pairs, we may take that off and just run two or three pairs, may have six or seven on. Um, some software uh, that we offer can trade over 10 pairs simultaneously. Because, I mean, let's face it, if it's looking for a particular pattern, there is much more opportunity among 10 pairs to see that pattern developing in any form uh, that the software is looking for than there is just you know having it narrowed down to a couple of pairs. But you know sometimes currencies are going wild. You know GBP NZD <laughs> comes to mind uh, as the, the wild west, in my opinion, of of currency pairs. You know maybe not the best uh, along with a lot of the other exotics to have our software running. So you'd want to stick to trading just the mains, in our opinion. Uh, but that you know, certainly could change depending on the software. So what else do I want to talk about at the back office? So let me jump back into sharing the next slide. So let's do that. I'm actually going to just share the PowerPoint screen instead of getting it all mixed up. Okay, here we go. All right, so back to the slides. Um, so essentially, just as I had mentioned, Gearbox, Variable, um, we have Stratimus and Neo the Legend. They're being onboarded over the next quarter. Um, in addition to the software, we have versions for each of these for both the US uh, and what they call them, the MAV version for each of these two pieces of software. And then there's a automated version of that for our overseas um, students, a little bit of a difference between whether the, the software can execute the trade for you or if you have to accept it, which isn't really a big deal. Um, do understand that, as I had mentioned a little bit before, um, I bring to the table, hopefully, quality direction, <laughs> right? Can't be right all the time. I'm obviously wrong too. Uh, but I try to bring, you know, all the experience I have in trading just to kind of give you a macro overview of what's going on at Forex. Uh, but I think it's important that the software comes with its own live weekly coaching calls um, and so forth. Um, again, management, this is a big reason I joined the organization. <clears throat> um, Sal Leto and Joshua Fair, along with Bill and Vanessa, are basically the geniuses behind uh, bringing the developers to uh, the masses, if you will, uh, with an educational component uh, that can help you tremendously along the way. Um, and with a couple of our other pieces of software that are coming on, um, including um, Arrow, which is more of a manual uh, alerts <clears throat> for chart patterns. There's a couple of other pieces that are for more manual traders out there as well. So um, I do want to take some questions before I finalize the last slide. I'm going to send you guys a link as well. Uh, but I do want to see if you guys have any questions on anything. So we've got about 10 minutes. I'm mostly finished with the presentations. If you guys want me to peel through any of this stuff again, um, let me know. Let me just open up the questions. So if you guys could put the questions in the Q&A window. Yeah, so I'll go into that. Uh, the first question was pricing. <clears throat> so you can either buy what's called a bronze pass, and I have a sheet uh, that illustrates that. Let me just pull that up here. It's, there we go. 
<clears throat> you guys see the slide, it's called how does it work? So it's all about access. So the bottom line is that depending upon your level of budget, if you will, uh, many of our subscribers will start off with a bronze access pass, uh, or in some cases a silver. Some will go with gold because they want all three pieces of software trading um, their accounts. Um, do know that both of these softwares, um, including our alerts, they have, which we all recommend, uh, a subscription that can be run on a demo. And that's typically how we'll do uh, that first, just so everybody can see how it runs, you know, before you put live money to work. You know, almost all brokerage accounts, companies that we deal with globally, <clears throat> some are in Canada, some are in New Zealand, some are in, in the UK uh, as well. They all allow you to set up a demo and run it, which we highly recommend you do first uh, once you get past some of these onboarding videos. So maybe an hour of your time and uh, hour and a half, two hours of your time, depending on the team you come aboard. Like if you guys, you get the link if you guys are interested in coming on our team, which you'll actually be right underneath myself and Ryan. Um, we do the onboarding uh, of setting all the everything up, including the brokerage account. We have uh, a team that actually onboards you just via Zoom, which is really slick. Uh, so they make it really easy to get everybody onboarded. <clears throat> but the bronze access pass, the normal cost every month for it, let me go to the right screen here is, uh... there it is. So it's 99 bucks a month. It's a one-time $80. Uh, activation fee, which just gets you access to the back office and all that stuff. Um, these are the costs of each of, so essentially just take nine times however many passes that you want. So the platinum is all the way just under 400 a month. There is a $20 VPS charge, which is a virtual private server. You do not, and I do not recommend that you run this software on anything other than a VPS. We deal with one of the best. They're a cloud-based organization called Forex VPS, one of the best in the world. Uh, they have built out significant technology for us and our subscribers so that the virtual private server, uh, <clears throat> which is nothing more than a Windows platform machine from an enterprise level, is running the software for you, not on your local machine. <clears throat> so it's 20 bucks a month for the VPS um, and the $80 activation fee should get you access to the back office. And all of us great educators, <laughs> um, the other way, the other thing too, is you guys can actually get the software for free if you refer some people. So if you want to learn more about that, once you come aboard, we can show you. Uh, but essentially, if you bring the software in, and this is back to just how it works here. <clears throat> so I would usually recommend coming in as either a bronze or silver access pass, um, and then upgrading from there, which most of our team is upgraded to gold and platinum, um, depending on the level of capital that you have to trade. So all stuff that we can work through, it's actually pretty easy, but it may seem quite daunting in my presentation. So hopefully I haven't confused anybody. <clears throat> all right, so let's uh, open up the Q&A here. So the question, first question was, how much do you say you can get started with trading effectively? Um, there are versions of our software that you can start with 500 bucks. I don't recommend that, but it does exist. And I know there are hundreds of subscribers out there uh, running it on a $500 account, which is rare. Uh, but from the standpoint of risk, guys, what I'm going to tell you is that it is you are far better served having this run on account that's at a minimum of 1000 bucks. Next question, what product would you recommend for a newbie? So right now, <clears throat> the you can't really say set it and forget it because quite frankly, our compliance lawyers are probably smash our heads against the table because you really can't. I mean, yeah, there's adjustments that, you know, just slight tweaks you may make to currency or add a pair each week, but you really can't just like, you know, put the software in play and you come back in a year and have a fat account. I, we do not recommend that. So <clears throat> the... Variable, uh, which was developed by Dasan Costadani. This guy is an absolute genius. Uh, he is a master uh, <clears throat> engineer with a robotics um, and quantitative degree from Cal Polytech um, and Worcester. Uh, so Polytech, if you're familiar with those, are phenomenal MIT caliber schools. He's the one who wrote the software. Um, so the variable system is probably being used by of those running a bronze pass, I don't know, 65% of uh, our um, subscriber base. That answers the question. 
So that's what we would recommend to start off with. We got the pricing. All right, so let me get another question about, um, the question was about indicators. <clears throat> the indicators that the software uses, um, all of them, depending on the software, much of our software utilizes what's called a martingale system. And I don't really have time to kind of explain it, but it just puts on an excessively large group of trades, depending on how deep the price moves against the system. Um, but you can Google Martingale um, to see how it works. <clears throat> Some of our software is offering more of a trending system that it follows, um, but it's just taking essentially little shots as you see from, um, from some of the FFX books uh, trades analysis that I showed. I didn't really have a lot of time to get into, but the cool thing with um, the MyFX book is it has the ability to <clears throat> get into um, you know, a lot of different trades at a, at a single time, but they're all very small from a risk standpoint. Then it's just a question. <clears throat> uh, not on think or swim, sorry. <clears throat> So we do this on the MT4 platform. All right, so let me, tell me if you guys can see this. I'm actually gonna drop this in here and send this off to the group. <clears throat> do you guys see that link that I put in the chat window? Go to the last page here. The, um, the management of the company has allowed, which is really rare, <laughs> They have allowed uh, a 14 day free trial for the first 20 people that sign up, which we haven't never offered before. Um, and I think that's fantastic that they're allowing that to happen. So it'll give you sort of a chance to log in, set up an account, uh, take the software for a spin. Ideally, 14 days is not an eternity, right? Um, normally, we charge 30 to 40 bucks for a 14 day trial of the software. But if you guys click on the link that you see here, there's also a link on uh, the 14 day for these recordings of this webinar. Uh, I would ask Anna and the team at Trader, I'm sorry, Investor Expo, if you guys would please include these links um, in the recordings uploads. So if you're going to post the video on YouTube, as I assume, or what have you, I'll post the same recorded video on my YouTube. We'll have the link um, under there uh, for everybody. And if somebody in the uh, question uh, box can just put in a yes that you see the link, <clears throat> let's make sure everybody got the link. Paste it here. Let's see if I can paste it. Oh, here we go. Entire audience attendees. There you go. All right. Look at that. Just in time. Questions on anything? Uh, one of the questions I saw was if you have. Um, if you refer people to sign up, um, you actually get the software for free. That's, that is true. If you refer two people in addition to yourself, the bronze pass is free. Which is pretty slick. Questions in anything? This is the um, I'll switch over a screen real quick because my time is basically up. Switch one quick second here. This is the uh, Trader's Death Trap Lack of Diversification page. Uh, if you guys click on the link, um, you'll be able to see that. 